We were searching the internet for a few days because we wanted to find a nice reasonably priced case that was full tower and can actually fit all your components in and stuff like that. So this is the Anadis A16 version 2. We picked that and it is A16 version 2. Remember this is the version 2, not version 1. So this is the newest version that they've got out. So it's not too aggressive. The air vents are perfectly laid out on natural case. It's got room for um, DVD rewriters and uh, Blu-ray drives and stuff like that. It's got two USB 2s at the top, four USB 2s, so it's backwards compatible for your keyboard and mouse if you want to plug it into the front. And then it's got a headphone jack 3.5mm on the top there. It's got an indicator to say that it's on and an indicator to for the storage and then obviously a power button and reset button. So it's got all the full functions of a four towers case. So I'm looking at the case now and I'm thinking, oh, this is quite cool. It's got like the front is at the top and I'm looking to see where the DVD and Blu-ray players are meant to go and for at least five minutes trying to find out what's going on. Then I realized that you can open up the door so it's completely flush and clean at the front of the case. Now let's get down to what's inside the case. So I've just noticed on the back where there's um, clearance for the cable management, there's one and a half inches of clearance for the cables to go all the way around the back of the case, which is really, really cool. It's got grommet holes. We've got one, two, three, four, five grommet holes. And we've got a few like little tiny holes where you can put in a few like uh, um, header uh, cables and put it sneakily through on the motherboard. And I like the fact that you've got four thumb screws that I can undo and I can remove the actual trays of where the solid states and the hard disk drives go and that is so cool so I'm going to put it out oh my god it's so solid it is a very solid build so that's one removable tray and what well, this is really heavy so it's really solid because there's no plastic here. I don't think there's any plastic in this case at all, to be honest with you, other than the front. It's a brush sort of aluminium look, but it's actually plastic. And it does look really nice that the top should be for the front, it's at the top, and it looks just nice. And it's easy uh, to, uh, well, I've been seeing it with a lot of manufacturers doing different things with their cases. Whoa! Right, so this is a solid, like, bit of metal. And this is for, obviously, your hard disk drives or you can use it for your solid state drives. And this comes with uh, three, actually no it doesn't, it comes with two of these and then you've got one separate. So you've got one tray just uh, on its own at the top. But this is removable, I'm guessing I can remove the other one and I'll just remove the screws. This is really cool this case to be honest with you. That means there's more when I first glanced at it before, I didn't think there was that much I could do with it. But now, looking at it, this is getting a bit ridiculous how you can customise this actual build. So this is the other tray, and you can obviously decide which ones you want. So most people will have a few hard disk drives, and then a few solid state drives. But yeah, it's really solid, really well made, all steel. No aluminium. Aluminium probably been better because it would have been lighter, but you're not really taking the case anywhere. It's a full tower. It's just there to plot up in one one place. Now I'm looking inside, and it's greeted me with a 140 mil fan in the front to, for an intake, uh, some cold cold air from the front. Uh, it looks like you can put in another one 140. So you can put two 120s in the front there and two 140s. Underneath where the CD and DVD drive base is actually pop riveted and I hate pop rivets They could have made this even more customizable if uh, They just didn't have pop rivets in it. I could actually put a bigger radiator in there But you can definitely put the fans in there no problem and there's still clearance of an inch between the fan and the tray All the cables that you get with it you get um, USB free header you get USB 2 header, audio header, 
uh, AC97 header, and then all your normal standard like reset and stuff switches for the front of the case. You get a couple of pads which will stop your case from getting scratched. So when you put your power supply in there and it's brand new, you don't really want it to get scratched. That's the whole point of it. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight expansion uh, bays for the back of the case. You've got uh, room for 120mm fan on the back, so you can't get a 140 no way. And then you've got, you can turn your graphics card up the other way and have your graphics card shown in the front of the case. If you've got um, a PCI extender slot to go into the PCI slot for the, graphic, uh, for the motherboard for your graphics card, and you can have the graphics card just stand in the front showing up in the window and hide the ugly cables. So you wouldn't need really a shroud. To, hold, uh, to cover up your power supply and try and cover up the cables because now I'm getting to the point where we get to the headers I think they should be all sleeved black or if the case is white then it should be all sleeved the same sort of colour to match the whole build now they always use like a red and black like obviously you need to know what colours you're actually connecting it to so you don't cause a fire or anything like that but they should always have like the cables be sleeved um, the same colour as the case and it will just look better it's taken a long time for a case to actually be painted inside the same colour as the actual case outside I remember when they were like black or white and they had that off silver inside and it just made the whole build look horrible So inside the case, I noticed that they've put, um, well, Molex, I absolutely hate Molex. Why can't we use SATA? SATA would have been a lot more slimmer and a lot more less cable management to do because you would have to add, all your stuff will probably be up to date with SATA connections. And then you'll have a Molex that you've got to put in there, which is really thick and really annoying. And they put it right in the front of the case. They should have put this in the back of the case or up here or just out the way. And they put the fan headers on the side here, which is a nice touch because you put your fans in there. But look at the colors. If you've got a nice build going on, this color is going to show up and it's not going to look too good. Now, I like how they put all the standoffs in the case already. And there's nice little holes that you can actually route the actual cables in uh, through as well and tie it with all cable management on the actual back of the case but that really upsets me that you put this on here but you can easily remove this anyway because it's got screws here for there and to there so it's an easy fix on the back here uh, 120 obviously what I said it's got three water grommet holes at the back for uh, tubing to go through. I don't know why there's only three, it should be four. On the bottom, you've got a uh, dust filter, and this dust filter's a bit awkward to get hold of. It's a standard dust filter that you can pull out for the bottom. It looks like you could put fans underneath the bottom, like, uh, what? No, definitely, uh, yeah. Uh, hang on, 120. You could put 120 fans underneath, so you could have some exhausted uh, heat coming up from the bottom as well. So you can put 120s at the bottom, or two 140s at the bottom, uh, and then obviously have a pump running. Right, so the front of the case has got three drives uh, for your DVD, Blu-ray and CD drives. It's got no foam dampening, it's got two magnets situated on the front of the door. It's got a dust grill on the front, and this is a dust grill. This looks really quite simple, so you can take these out, the dryers. And these ones are just metal, so you snap them off to actually put your dryers through. One's already got clearance already, so you don't have to worry about that. It looks really nice, all hidden, but if you feel like you need a CD or Blu-ray drive or whatever, you can just open it, reveal it, and it's there. Um, there's a grill there, and nothing here at the front. It looks like you can put in uh, two 140s on the top of the actual um, case and you can put two 120s, so what are we rocking then? So we can do put a radiator here, you can put a radiator here underneath, it looks like it's, oh, I don't know, maybe a very thin radiator. You can put a radiator underneath and then you can put the fans on top. 
and then there'll be enough clearance for a motherboard anyway in the graphics card so you could do that um, but you can't put a um, radiator in the front here but you can only have two 140s in the front or two 120s in the front so you could have radiator here you could probably somehow customize putting a radiator here and a radiator here so 240, 240, 120 on the back but it's a little bit awkward as it doesn't look that much space. I wouldn't say this was more of a full tower. I would say this is a very small full, uh, full tower case. But um, just looking at the case, what, what I like about the case is that you can hide away the ugliness. I don't like CD or DVD or Blu-ray drives on the, on the computer case anymore. But I like how it's hidden away. I don't like that you can't remove that other bay. If they thought about it a little bit more, you could put a 240 in the bottom there. And the fact is the front is a new sort of design and a new look. You can't put 360 rad on the top, but you can put a 240 on the top, which is still okay. But you can't go really extreme in water cooling, but you can get away with a little bit. At the bottom, where you slide in your DVD drives and stuff like that, there's a tray at the bottom and it's about uh, probably about an inch and a little bit in height and six and a half inches in length and it's a bit of a problem that you can't move that because it's if you're not really using that drive you may be using one solid state drive that is like a terabyte or three point two terabytes these days and you stick it in the top and you can use the rest of this water cording and have it for gaming or whatever you can't remove that and it looks kind of ugly so that means that you would have to literally put one of these back in there to make it look more why it's meant to be in here but there's nothing else that I don't like about it other than I said about the cable should be well, all manufacturers should do that have everything all colour coded with the actual case but what I do like about it so is the style of it the brush aluminium is solid really solid you've got loads of functionality it could have done with a few more USB 3's uh, blue kept more current rather than USB 2's um, I like everything else that's on there though and I like the way it can breathe air and exhaust air at the top and it's got a nice big air vents to bring in cold air and you've got the dura you've got the option to have 120s in the front or 140s depending on the actual like well it don't even need to be it doesn't even matter the size of the fans it would actually fit in there no problem um, on the back, it could have been a little bit more useful to have, be able to have the choice or the option to do 140 or 120 at the back and a little bit more room with the expansion slots because when you go to put in a slightly bigger radiator, it's going to become a little bit awkward when you're actually screwing it into the back for a 120 if you do use a 120 or like an all-in-one or you just use a 240 on the top here. The grommet holes are really nice, they don't seem to rub off black on your fingers. You've got a dust filter at the bottom so you can completely customise and clean this actual case quite easily by taking out the filter at the bottom. It's got a filter at the back there. And obviously the open out back so you can get your, um, your water cooling or your fan assisted CPU cooler on the back. That's easy because it's already removable. The Velcro strap on the back, that's cool. There was one more thing. Obviously the removable trays and the solid build of it. So that is what I think about the case. So overall it's kind of a balanced option. It's not for everyone, this case. Overall, it is a nice case. I like the look of it, but it is definitely down to your own preferences. I like there's some things I would like to change about it and there's other things that I wouldn't change about it and it has got style. What grows me the most is obviously the style of the case. Drop us a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel so you can find out about more content like this or other stuff that I do with computers and stuff like that. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.